Well, the holiday shopping season kicks off in earnest Friday, uh, but you've also got Small Business Saturday, which is extremely important, especially if you want to make sure that we have small businesses thrive, especially in places like downtown Springfield. And joining us now to talk about a small business that's going to be opening up on Saturday with a grand opening just in time for Small Business Saturday is uh, Callie Estes, and she is a co-owner of Wildly Rooted Boutique. Uh, Callie, thanks for taking time with us here with uh, WMAY. Uh, tell us about Wildly Rooted Boutique. Hi, um, thanks for having me. So um, our grand opening is this Saturday. Um, it is on Adams Street downtown. Um we are part of the Adams family, and we're very excited to be coming to downtown. We are a women's kids home decor, all the above workshop um, place to be, and we're going to have size inclusive, so sizes from size size small to five X. Um, we have lots of awesome things coming for Christmas holiday with our grand opening this Saturday. We are also doing a ribbon cutting at 1 p.m. for downtown Springfield in front of our building. So if you come on out, we would love to have you in our pictures. Um, we also will be announcing some of our upcoming workshops that include paint nights, macrame nights, um, polymer clay nights, lots of new artisans coming to our building to teach their own talents. And um, we're just very excited to get open. It's been a long time coming, about over a year. So we're very excited to join the Adams family as well. Well, talk about a bit about that process. Uh, is is this the first venture you've been involved in where you're running the shop, essentially? And uh, it's it's your name that's uh, going to be <laughs> going to be liable for this. Uh, what's that like getting into a uh, business like this? Yeah, this is my very first brick and mortar. Um, I also own a jewelry business, JoJo Jewelry, and I found um, downtown was my best fit because I was downtown for the old Capital Farmers Market every summer for the past two years at Saturday, and absolutely loved it. And so I found my downtown niche, especially on Adams Street, because that's where the Farmers Mar- Market runs through. And we decided. Um, to look around buildings that were downtown and there was a couple that had been recently bought by um, our landlord David Lee and Brian Freeze and um, we were lucky to get in contact with them through Kayla and which is the downtown um, director and once we got the space I walked in I was like this is our space but it was absolutely needed to be newly re- reinstructed so that process took a little over a year with all of um, the city's permits we had to get and everything. So it was definitely a very long process, but our vision is finally coming together. Um, it, it takes a lot of patience and money to open up the storefront, so we're really excited to have the public in very soon. And Saturday is the grand opening for Wildly Rooted Boutique, and we're talking with uh, Callie Estes. She is co-owner of Wildly Rooted Boutique. Where does the name come from? Why Wildly Rooted? Um, We found the name through just realizing all of us. There's three co-owners, me, Courtney Kirkham, and Jessica Lynn. Um, We all come from very different parts of um, the United States. Jessica's from California. Um, We've all planted our seeds in different spots, and then we all kind of came together. We met through pop-ups in order to open up our shop. So we thought Wildly Rooted was the best fit. And again, the uh, grand opening is Saturday, downtown Springfield. They're going to be part of the Adams Street family, already a part of the Adams Street family. And I'm sure you're finding uh, other business owners down there that uh, share your passion. And you're opening up just in time for the holiday season. Uh, Again, give us a bit of an overview of what people are going to be able to find there at Wildly Rooted Boutique, downtown Springfield on Adams Street, when you guys open for uh, your grand opening Saturday for Small Business Saturday. Well, right now we have all of our um, racks full. They're overflowing, so we're installing some more racks. But we have sizes small through 5X for women. So I know that that is a very wonderful thing to be plus size inclusive. So you can come in and actually shop off our racks and not have to hope and order offline. We have a bunch of local artisans we're selling in the store. 
A lot of them are from the farmer's market, so you can get them year-round at our store. We also have um, some home decor, so if you guys want to spruce up for the holidays, lots of wonderful gifts for gift-giving, and um, we'll be announcing our workshops that will be about once a week at our store. And uh, the workshops, talk a bit more about that. Uh, is that uh, going to be like a, an evening type of thing where people get together with uh, shared interests and uh, do some crafts? Or what What's uh, what are the workshops going to entail? So I currently do workshops already. And um, they we basically, there will be tickets that we post on our website. And they're primarily going to be Thursday evenings and Sunday evenings that people are able to purchase tickets, come with their friends and family, and um, learn a new skill through um, talented artisans in the area. So obviously it's going to be more than just uh, some clothes, some fashion, some home goods. Uh, It's going to be a community of sorts, getting together, sharing passions, and uh, learning a variety of things. Uh, Sounds fantastic. Wildly Rooted Boutique opening up Saturday. Uh, We're joined on the phone by Callie Estes, one of the co-owners. And again, give a shout out to uh, the others that are involved in this business and uh, how excited you guys are. Yeah, so Courtney Kirkham and Jessica Lynn are the other co-owners. Um, we are very excited to have um, more stuff coming as time goes on, but we are very excited to get our doors open. C- Courtney owns Cloth and Oak. Um, that's kind of what brought us all together was three already three small business owners came together to open up their own brick and mortar. But Courtney owns Cloth and Oak. Jessica um, Lynn, she is our mad woman. She owns two other brick and mortars and um, a separate small business that she does pop ups with, which are one naughty maker for her pop ups. And she teaches workshops as well. That's a bunch of macrame. And then Peachy Nest, which is in Jacksonville, it is a newly um, open brick and mortar um, located in the Gillum House and also Green Haven which is in Jacksonville. So this is her first time in Springfield, and I know all of her Springfield customers are very excited to have her in the area. Well, I know that uh, the Adams Street family is going to be a buzz on Saturday. So looking forward to Small Business Saturday, and you are picking the right time to open up for business with that ribbon-cutting midday downtown Adams Street Wildly Rooted Boutique. Callie Estes, thank you so much for taking time with us and sharing your passion. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 W.